Wow, I'm so happy to be filming this video. Welcome back to my channel if you guys are new around here. My name's Kazmira. I haven't filmed a video in a couple of months, so this filming might be a little bit weird. I don't know. Who knows if I remember how to film a vlog. But I want to first off say thank you so much for the love on my affordable free people clothing haul video. I was not expecting that response and um, it's up to like 6.3 thousand views so thank you so much if you have loved it and watched it and gave it a thumbs up. Um, I will definitely do more clothing haul type videos like that if you guys like seeing what kind of clothes I get, what kind of fabric and as affordable as possible. So if you haven't watched that video you can go click up there and watch that. But Today we are gonna get into the vlog. So I created this nice white backdrop with a blanket so that you we can like really zoom into my face. Um, a few updates, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I chopped my hair, which I'm not gonna take it out because it's quite crazy, but it is this long now. I originally chopped it to about here. Um, you can see in this picture, this is like right when I got it cut and I don't know, I've really just come into my skin. I haven't really worn makeup at all, really just been like taking care of my skin. So that is what kind of stemmed this video. And today we're gonna do um, a haul unboxing for Coco Kind. I have never used any of their products. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, I bought all of these things and we'll just be giving my like first impression review. If you guys wanna see an updated review, then you guys can just um, like this video and comment down below so that way I know you guys want to like see the progress of the products So here is my little box of goodies. I haven't used or smelt or done anything with any of it yet I got it a couple days ago and have been waiting to film this video um, So let's do it up first off all this packaging is so stinking cute all of the colors and it's, I think all of it's vegan and I know it's definitely clean beauty, so I am here for that. Like I said, I have more makeup in about six months. Really the beginning of, you know, the world going crazy. <laughs> um, but I really just like clean skin anyways. And I actually started this little movement support system thing called Natural Skin First on Instagram. So just um, you can post a photo with the hashtag natural skin first and I just think we should create a community of love and support around our natural skin versus altering our face with filters and things like that. Getting back to the haul um, for Coco Kind. This is the first thing that I'm going to open and try and probably the thing that I am most excited for. Um, as I just said, my skin is clean so I might put it on my face, I'm not sure. One thing that I did really love about Coco Kind is about two or three days after I got my um, package delivered, they sent me an email on like how to use the product, when to use it, things to follow it up with and stuff like that. So I really appreciated that about it. This is an overnight mask with plant de derived retinol alternative. So it's called their resurfacing sleep mask. Has real cute packaging on the inside once you open it up. And let's see how it feels. So it comes with this little scoopity doop. So you just leave this on overnight and then rinse it off in the morning. Um, and you can use it about three or four times a week. It smells kind of like nothing, which honestly, having things smell like nothing is probably a good thing. I'm so happy filming this video. I haven't filmed a video in so long. Okay, so here it is. <gasps> okay, so that was a fail. Um, but you saw the texture, so I'm gonna show you this. Let's dab it off of this number. Oh, it's definitely lighter than I thought. Um, oh, it's very silky smooth. It's not what I was expecting. So definitely what I just swiped off will go over my whole face. It would probably because it just covered like my whole hand up my arm. So it seems like you just need a fine layer of it. Um, like I said, it doesn't really smell like anything to me, but I like how that feels. That feels rubbed up. First impression is that this is going to last a while. 
um and if it has retinol in it it should help brighten up some of my end of like my some of the last of my scarring on my cheeks um i wonder too if it even would brighten my under eye a little bit with retinol um it is plant-based and i have used a plant-based retinol before and it, my skin did not like it at all um so hopefully this little overnight sleeping mask will be hydrating and brightening all at the same time thumbs up to that i like that so far the next is this chlorophyll mask from coco kind uh, detoxing facial treatment for your purified skin. So what it says is using colluded spatula, place one to two scoops into your palm and mix with equal parts water. Apply mixture to face and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing off. I don't think, well actually sure, I'll try. I'll, maybe I'll get some water. Comes with this little spatula again. This product, it says this product was purely made using four organic ingredients. So that's really nice. Love to be able to use like organic thing organic and clean skincare um maybe i'll just do a full skincare video right now because the two to three things that are in my skincare routine right now have literally transformed my skin since like the end of may i started using it and wow makes such a big difference also one thing i love about all of the coco kind things is i did get it during their end of summer sale so it was 20 percent off but um, all of their things are super affordable, so A plus for that if they work, which I hear wonderful things about them. Clearly, you can tell I haven't filmed the video because this video is about to be 100 hours long. Okay, first impression, if it smells <laughs> like seaweed. If you know what spirulina smells like or blue spirulina, it smells like that. It kind of smells like an algae, so... First impression, if you have a sensitive smell situation, don't get this probably because you won't want to smell it at all, let alone on your face. It kind of smells like sushi, but like not great. But you know, that means it's probably good for your skin. That's my theory at least. Let me get water and we can finish the video with my mask on and then we'll be good to go. I spilt some obviously, but this is how much I am doing, I don't know if this, that's a lot or a little, I just did two scoops. They were kind of like heaping scoops though, so you maybe could do a little bit less. Um, so now you just share equal or put equal parts water into it. And I'm gonna make a mess. Watch this fail. Hey, actually that wasn't so bad. Turn it into a paste. I'm just gonna put this on. I hope you're entertained right now. Okay, doesn't smell as bad once you put it on. Like, it's actually bearable. Okay, I gotta go clean up a little bit. I could have probably used a little bit um, less, but this is what, it goes on really good. Feels super gentle. It almost feels like exfoliant because of the little, like, sc um, scrubbiness, like, graininess of the chlorophyll. So, I really like that. Um, so, I feel like it's gonna work pretty good. Detoxifying facial treatment. I don't know. Let's see how it looks afterwards. Okay, this definitely feels like cooling. It feels really good so far. I've cleaned up. Let's move on. So in their email, which I've pulled up on my phone of like how to use everything, it says you can adjust the thickness of your mask based on your skin's need. A thinner mask, um, less powder is great for sensitive or dry skin, and a thicker mask is great for breakout prone areas. So I definitely think I went a little heavy on the... Um, amount that i used but it feels really good really really good like cooling and like like it's really cleaning um i will say i applied it very poorly but that's okay and one thing i really like about it is that they say you can use it as much as you like because it is such a gentle mask so i definitely like that and the next thing i got is this glow essence with um sea grape caviar so it's free from toxins fillers artificial colors fragrances parabens mineral all that jazz really great if you don't know what essence is essence is pretty much food for the skin and it helps um all of the work that you just did get absorbed so you want to do this after you do your cleansing and your toner before you do your serums and uh, moisturizers so i'm i actually do have one other essence that i did just get um that i've only used once so far but that one that i have is like 
um, not a gel, but you squeeze it into your palm. So I'm really excited about this being a spray because I feel like that will just be so great. Um, and it's really good for brightening and evening, evening out and hydrating skin. So I like that. Let's see how it smells and sprays. All I can smell is my face right now. Oh yeah. Ooh, smells so good. It sprays really good. You can't really tell how it sprays in this video, but definitely strong spray, 10 out of 10. I obviously, first impression is that it smells good. Definitely good for the price as far as the ingredients goes. Um, and I feel like hopefully it works. I don't know. Like I said, I will give you a review. Okay, last thing. I wonder how long this vlog is going to be. Um, is something that everyone needs daily spf heck yes okay so i honestly don't know much about this i've read the reviews on their website and um i really personally wanted to try the super goop because i know that one is definitely favorited in the land of sephora but i just i don't know felt like going against the green and trying a different one so i got their daily spf it is a 32 spf so um, the only time that I, well, I try to put on SPF every day and I didn't have one. So, um, I would just put on my Ilia Skin Tint, which is a 40 SPF, but the SPF in makeup is way different than an actual SPF. Um, the ones in makeup is considered like a walking SPF. Like if you're just walking in the car and that's like kind of your only outdoor plans. Um, but I spend a lot of time outside. I'm usually working outside or going on a hike or walking the dogs or whatever so a daily spf is essential for me and you if you want to have less wrinkles <laughs> i can't believe i'm filming right now in this freaking chlorophyll mask which feels so good so it says protects against all the lights uva uvb and blue light which i'm super happy about honestly this might be dumb but i don't know if all sunscreen protects from blue lights but this is something i'm going to put on every morning because I stare at a computer all day for my job, which run my own business, which is so good, but still stare at a computer all day. So this is 29% zinc oxide, um, really great ingredients. I don't like putting normal SPF on my skin, like on my face. So I'm really happy to have a clean SPF that had really good reviews and it was a really good price for um, having the bottle be 1.7 ounces. I feel like that's pretty good. Here's the texture. Let's rub it in now. Whoa, that's a lot. Definitely didn't need that much. Okay, so a lot goes a long way, as you can see. Um, I have this all left still. It's a cloudy day, so I won't have to worry about my hand getting sunless. Oh my God, I'm not even making sense. Anyway. I really like the texture, really like that a lot goes a long way. Definitely did not need as much that I had on my hand. And what I really am loving right now is it looks like it might be a little shiny. You can kind of see, but it definitely is dry. Like I feel like it'll dry matte once it's all the way dry or just like it, it honestly gives you like a hydrated glow to my hand is what I'm going with. You can kind of see the shimmer. Um, so I like that. I hate oily sunscreen. So, um, especially when it's SPF for my face, do not love that. So that is a really good first impression. As long as it works good and I feel like protected when I'm out in the sun, I feel like I can kind of feel that when I'm out in the sun. Um, if the SPF is working or not, I would say this is worth the dollars and it's not even that many. So blessed by that. Okay, I'm gonna go take off my mask. That is all that I got. So I'm excited. I'll probably try this overnight mask tonight. Um, and like I said, I can give you a full review if you guys just let me know in the comments if you want that. And then the chlorophyll mask, obviously I have on. And then I got the SPF and the skin essence, which is super exciting to have. Um, I'm gonna go rinse off my face and I will come show you my skin. <laughs> okay, I just took the mask off. I'll come a little closer so you can see. As you can see, it made my cheeks look a little bit red, which is pretty normal for like how the mask felt 
for me personally. Um, I left it on for about 15 minutes and you can see my underlying scars that are under the surface that I'm working on right now. I've definitely um, been able to get rid of a bit, but I still have got these that I'm working with over here. Um, my skin feels so clean. I was thinking. Um, it feels really clean. It feels like it really was like a deep clean. So I really like that about the mask. We'll see how my skin looks after like a few weeks of using the mask as far as brightening goes and just like deep cleaning and if it helps me from not really getting any more breakouts. Like I don't really get breakouts anymore thanks to Jesus, but um, every now and then I will get like a few. I have a couple random zits on my neck right now. So that is concludes my coho kind first impressions and just like haul and unboxing video um i hope you liked it i am really loving skincare right now and trying different masks out and stuff like that um and really targeting different things for my skin in each step like cleaning brightening hydrating stuff like that so anyways like i said for the 100th time if you want to see a full skincare video comment down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up i hope that you guys are happy to have me back filming um like i said i've had a really big shift in content if you do follow me on instagram at all i'm over the trends i'm over editing like other people i'm over wearing what other people wear i am kind of just really going after the more editorial type of style that i've always wanted to do so if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me and you'll be able to really see the kind of shift. So that being said, here on YouTube, I will still do like the same type of videos, but a lot more um, fashion, like the Free People Clothing Haul, which you guys really loved, and skincare and just even more um, like unique editing of fashion looks to inspire you that aren't like vlog style, like me talking and stuff like that, if that makes sense. But my skin is very happy, so I'm going to go moisturize it and sip on some tea. But I hope you guys loved it. Sorry if it's long. I haven't filmed in a long time. And I will see you guys soon. Really soon. So, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye!